Hello once again. Today we're going to go ahead and install a few mods by Windave. First one is going to be Septentrional Landscapes, SE. Go ahead and download the version you think will best suit your computer. I'm going to go with the 4K. This requires Hyperborean Snow and Northern Shore, which we have, which we will be getting. And the reason why I'm going for 4K is this is one of those textures that expands beyond your normal viewport. So even though it's your computer can only render 1080p, you're going to be looking at a quarter of that 1080p image. And that's going to be a whole lot less. That's why I'm getting 4K. So the next one is Hyperborean Snow. With this, once again, I will recommend the 4K. If you have a more powerful computer, 8K. Slower computer, 2K. And the third one we're getting is Illustrious White Run SE. This was just updated to include parallax fixes. So go ahead and download the parallax meshes and go ahead and download 4K. And after that, Northern Shores SE. Again, the 4K. All right, so now let's go ahead and install these mods. Let's go ahead and start with Northern Shore. Move on to Hyperborean Snow. And Septentrional Landscapes. Finally, install Illustrious White Run. And last but not least, install the Parallax Meshes. And merge it. Go ahead and enable the four plugins. Mods. We can see what conflicts these mods have. So first of all, Northern Shore is going to conflict with Skyrim 3D Landscape and Tamrielic Textures SE. Similarly, Hyperborean Snow has the same conflicts, and Septentrinal Landscapes also does, but it also overrides Hyperborean Snow. This is expected. Illustrious White Run is going to override Skyrim 3D Windmill, Audio Overhaul for Skyrim SE, and Realistic Water 2. I don't know what these conflicts are, so I'm going to go ahead and verify these real quick. Yes. Okay. In this case, it's probably best to go ahead and have those mods load after. So, let's take Illustrious White Run and move it up a bit. Except for the audio overhaul for Skyrim. And the conflict is this right here. WR int castle plat stairs 01. It's the only NIF in here. Don't know why it's even here. I'm gonna hide it. Now it's gone. Now it's only Skyrim 3D windmills and Realistic Water 2. If those were textures, I'd have Illustrious White Run load after. But since there's messes, I'm going to let those win. For Cortex, go ahead and open location. We're going to have to extract all five. Now that they're extracted, let's go ahead and install them to Cortex. So a new mod from folder each one of these. Once again, let's start with North Shore. And OK. Next is Hyperborean Snow. North Septentrinal Landscapes, Illustrious White Run 4K, and finally, the last one is going to be Parallax Messages. But okay. Open each one of these. Rename the folder to Data so that each one contains the Textures folder.
and enable them on the left. And finally for Vortex users, go ahead and install and enable the same way that we have within the other mod. Once you've finished installing and enabling the mods, you should notice there's a few conflicts. Illustrious White Run is going to load after AOS, before RW2, and before Skyrim 3D Windmill. Subcentral Landscapes is after all three of these. Hyperborean Snow is after both of the conflicts as well. And finally, Northern Shore. Once you fix those, you can go ahead and hit deploy again. And because we don't have any plugins, we are done for today.